Welcome back to Three Inquisitive Kids. In this video, we'll be learning about something called the square difference formula. Our course outline for this unit is first learning about the laws of exponents, and then we learned about the scientific notation and multiplying and dividing polynomials and monomials. Today, we're going to start learning our formulas, and the first one would be the square difference formula. Our learning goals for today is to understand and master the derivation of the square difference formula and be able to apply the square difference formula to basic problems. Here's some review. Do you remember how to multiply polynomials? The sum of a and b times the sum of m and n would be to use the distributive property of multiplication. That one of the terms would be am, an, bm, and then bn. And if we had x plus three times x plus five, that would be x squared plus 5x plus 3x plus 15. And you can combine the like terms to get x squared plus 8x plus 15. A landlord rented out a square piece of land with side lengths of 20 meters to farmer John for planting. The next year, he said, John, I will decrease the width of this land by 5 meters and increase the length by 5 meters. I will still rent it to you. The rent will be the same. You won't suffer any loss. Farmer John agreed. After he told his friends about this, everyone exclaimed, No, John, the area of the land decreased. Do you know what just happened? How would you explain it to Farmer John? He has a square piece of land, and its side length is 20 meters. So 20 times 20 would be 400. After this change, his land became 15 by 25. We decreased 5 meters from one side and added it to the other side. 15 times 25 equals 375. You can see that 400 is greater than 375. For example, if we have 14 times 14, that's always going to be greater than 13 times 15. You want your factors to be as close together as possible in order to get the biggest product. Do the problems as fast as you can. Try to use mental math. For the first problem, we have x plus 1 times x minus 1. It's x squared minus 1 squared, which equals x squared minus 1. For the second problem, it's m plus 2 times m minus 2. We get m squared minus 2 squared, which equals m squared minus 4. For the third problem, we have 2m squared minus 1 squared, which equals 4m squared minus 1. And for the fourth problem, we have 5y squared minus z squared equals 25y squared minus z squared. All these polynomials have something in common. Both terms are the same, except that one is a plus and one is a minus. Plus and a minus. A plus and a minus and a plus and a minus. And you can see that here we had x squared minus 1 squared. So it's the first term squared minus the second term squared. For the second problem, we also have the same thing. It's the first term squared minus the second term squared. For the third one, it's still the same thing. 2m is the first term squared minus 1 squared, and 1 is our second term. So the square difference formula, which is what we're going to learn today, is a plus b times a minus b equals a squared minus b squared. The sum of two numbers multiplied by the difference of the same two numbers equals the square difference of them. You can also write it as a minus b times a plus b. We just swap the orders of the polynomials around. Or you can write it as b plus a times a negative b plus a. I want you to do these problems as fast as you can. Try to use mental math. Now since we've already learned the square difference formula, this should be easier. The first problem would be b squared minus a squared. The second problem would be a squared minus b squared. The third problem would be a squared minus b squared. And the fourth problem would be b squared minus a squared. Here you might get a little confused with why it's going to be b squared minus a squared. Just so you know, in these formulas, we only use the letters a and b to represent a number. You can actually rewrite the variables in any way you want. So in this case, This can also be written as a squared minus b squared if you place this with a, this with b, this with negative b, and this with 
positive a. It's still the same thing. The variables don't matter. Fill in the blanks. Here in this first row, we have 1 plus x times 1 minus x. So in this case, the a would be this 1 because it's a first term, and b would be x because x is a term that's getting added and subtracted. And when we plug in the values into the formula, we would get 1 squared minus x squared. In the second row, our a would be negative 3, because you can see that in both polynomials, it's negative 3. And the b would be a. Over here, the a is supposed to be a negative sign. So you can see that the sign of a changed, so that's why a would be our b in this case. And when we plug the values in, we get negative 3 squared minus a squared. For the third row, we have 1 plus a times negative 1. Using the commutative property of addition, we can always change it into a plus 1, that's the first polynomial, times a minus 1, that's the second polynomial. And now this looks much more familiar. In this case, a is our a, and 1 is our b. We plug in the formula, we get a squared minus 1 squared. And for the last example, we have 0 point three x minus one and i'm going to use the commutative property of addition to swap the order of the terms in this polynomial zero point three x plus one and now this looks much more familiar zero point three x is a and one is b our answer would be zero point three x squared minus one squared a lot of problems they try to change the order of the terms a little bit to try to confuse you but sometimes you just have to rearrange it using the commutative property of addition or multiplication so you can look at something that's familiar. I want you to use a square difference formula to calculate these three expressions. The first expression would equal 25 minus 36x squared. In this case, 5 is our a. six x is our b and we plug it into the formula we get 25 minus 36 x squared for the second problem we have x minus 2y times x plus 2y you can actually swap the order of these polynomials if it makes it easier to understand and our answer would be x squared minus 4y squared for the third problem we have negative m plus n times negative m minus n in this case, n is our b, and negative m is our a. Our answer would be m squared minus n squared. Compare the expression, so compare your given expression to the square difference formula. And you can ask yourself, which term in this case would be a, and which term would be b? Here are some more practice problems. I want you to pause the video and figure these two out. The b in this case for the first expression is y because y has its signs changed. And when we plug in the values into the square difference formula, we get 1 over 16 x squared minus y squared. For the second solution, 8 is our b and ab is our a. So we're left with a squared times b squared minus 64. Use the square difference formula to compute. Solution number one. First, you have to compare this to our formula. What is a and what is b? Here we have a plus b times a minus b. I'm too lazy to write the right side of the equation. A minus 7m. But we know that minusing a number is the same thing as adding its additive inverse. So this is the same thing as adding negative 7m. And now, since we have two negative 7m's in both polynomials, we know that a, in this case, is negative 7m. And our b would be 8n, because right now we have a positive 8n and a negative 8n. And now we plug in the values into our formula to get 49m squared minus 64n squared. The solution to the second problem is kind of the same thing. Here, except we have four, we have three polynomials. The first step is to ignore this polynomial and just focus on the left side. On the left side, we have x squared minus 2 squared, which is 4 squared. So that's what we get. And we still have to multiply on this last polynomial. And so we're left with x to the 4th power minus 16. First simplify, then plug in the values, given that x equals 1 and y equals 2. Here's a solution. First, we have to simplify. So this is technically 
two different sections of the expression and we're first going to focus on the first half. So the first half equals 4x squared minus y squared. We got that using the square difference formula and then we have our minus sign in the middle and then we simplify the right side of the expression which gives us 4y squared minus x squared. And then we get rid of the parentheses by using the distributive property of multiplication and distribute this negative one into the parentheses and we combine like terms to get 5x squared minus y squared. And we're not done yet. When x equals 1 and y equals 2, 5 times 1 squared minus 5 times 2 squared, which goes negative 15. Use the square difference formula to simplify the expression and then substitute the variables in with their values. Class summary. Today we learned about the square difference formula. And we know that the sum of two numbers multiplied by the difference of the same two numbers equals a squared difference of them. And I want you to remember that this is the formula, a plus b times a minus b equals a squared minus b squared. And when simplifying, you can compare your given expression with this formula. And you can ask yourself which term represents a and which term represents b. Because some problems, they try to confuse you on purpose and try to swap the orders of some terms around or turn addition to subtraction and stuff like that. So I hope you learned something from this video, and I'll see you in the next lesson talking about the perfect square formula.